Have you ever seen some team with too much money and wondered how they came by all that? By the end of this video, you'll know how some of the richest teenagers in the country earned their money. What's up and welcome to Smart Money. In today's video, I'm going to review 5 teenage millionaires and tell you what you need to do to become one. Would having 7 figures at 17 change your life? If so, write rich in the comments below. Let's jump right into it. Does it seem like teens are getting richer to you? Because that's the way it seems from my perspective. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and I was a teenager in the 90s. I had modest teenage possessions like video games, a family computer, and a hand-me-down TV, and a bicycle. Today's teens, on the other hand, own things that I would have never been able to afford 20 years ago. Technological differences notwithstanding, today's teens have multiple video game consoles, multiple personal laptops, giant flat-screen TVs, and cars. I'm left scratching my head and wondering if I missed something. When did teenage life get so lucrative? I know a lot of them have pretty benevolent parents, but some of them are out there earning money that makes adults with college educations and degrees question their life decisions. That's when I decided to do some research. I wanted to know what these teens know that the rest of us don't. I researched five teenage millionaires to discover if they have any commonalities and how they acquired their wealth. It turns out that many of them have similar traits and practices. Stay tuned to the end to learn what they are and how you can duplicate their success. I didn't simply look at the five richest teenagers in the world. Many of the richest teens have traits or talents that simply aren't common. Many are entertainers or are born into wealth. I've decided to highlight teens who came into their money through their own efforts rather than hitting the genetic jackpot. Corey Neves is 15 years old with a net worth of $1 million. By the time Corey was 6 years old, he was tired of taking the bus to school. He wanted to buy his mother a car and he knew just how to do it, with a bake sale. He was going to sell enough cookies and coffee to make his mother's life easier. He and his mother noticed the cookies were selling particularly well. They perfected the cookie recipe, got access to a commercial kitchen, and created the company Corey's Cookies. Corey appeared on the entrepreneurial pitch show called The Profit and received $100,000 in investment capital. The company has gone from strength to strength, growing from being sold in local stores to being sold nationwide. You can even have Corey's Cookies delivered to your door freshly baked. Mosiah Mo Bridges is 18 years old and has a net worth of $1 million. Mo's path to riches started nine years ago. While out shopping, the well-dressed nine-year-old couldn't find any bow ties that he liked. His grandmother taught him how to make his own bow ties, and the intrepid Mo started selling them on Etsy. Mo's bows was born. Mo appeared on Shark Tank in 2014, seeking investment capital. What he received is much more valuable, a mentorship. Taking on Damon John as his mentor, Mo signed a seven-figure deal with the NBA, giving him the right to use their logo on his merchandise at 15 years old. By 16, Mo was able to earn $600,000 in profit from Mo's bows. He graduated from high school in 2020. Alina Morris is 14 years old and has a net worth of $6 million. It took her two long years of research, the discovery of xalitol as a sugar substitute, and the help of her father to come up with the idea of a healthy lollipop brand called Zollipops. Zollipops first retail deal was with Whole Foods. Alina was later able to sign deals with Amazon and Kroger. Zollipops are sold online and in 7,000 brick and mortar stores. The company is expected to earn $6 million in sales in 2020. Alina donates as much as 10% of her profits to support oral hygiene charities. Michaela Ulmer is 15 years old and has an undetermined net worth. Michaela developed a fear of bees when she was stung twice at 4 years old. Her mother, Deandra, helped her to learn more about bees to help conquer her fear. Michaela discovered that bees are in danger of extinction and decided to do something about it. Michaela, still 4 years old, started selling her great-grandmother's flaxseed lemonade outside of her home in 2009. She did this to make enough money to keep bees alive. Instead of adding sugar, she decided to add honey to the recipe. This makes her lemonade healthier, saves bees, and helps beekeepers. Michaela and her father Theo bought Bee Sweet Lemonade to Shark Tank in 2015. She secured a $60,000 investment from Damon John. She has since made an $11 million deal with Whole Foods to sell Bee Sweet Lemonade in 55 regional stores in Arkansas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and her native Texas. She has also served to lemonade to President Barack Obama. Carolyn Burkhall and Isabel Burkhall were 17 and 19 respectively. They have an undetermined net worth. 
About seven years ago, Carolyn and Isabel noticed that the bath bombs they were using left their bathtub a mess. Tired of the stains and sticky residue, the sisters decided to experiment with making their own bath bombs. The pair took their bath bombs to a local art show in 2013 and managed to sell out in the first day. Noticing that they were on to something, they decided to move their operation out of their parents' basement to a warehouse and founded the Bomb Bath Fizzers. The company has netted $20 million in revenue each year since 2018. These teens came from all walks of life. However, they still managed to become millionaires before they were old enough to drink. How was this accomplished? And how could you make it happen for yourself? All the teens on this list are born in the United States. This makes it considerably easier to become a millionaire. The United States boasts 40% of the world's millionaire population according to Forbes. That's an estimated 18.61 million millionaires in the United States, adding 675,000 millionaires a year since 2018. Corey Neves wanted to buy his mother a car. Alina Moores wanted to fight tooth decay. The Burkhaw sisters were tired of messy bath bombs. Most people see problems and decide to complain about them. These teens saw problems and decided to solve them, and the market rewarded them for their creative solutions. Michaela opened her lemonade stand in front of her parents' house at four years old. Mosiah sold his first bow tie at nine years old. Many adults wait for the world to give them permission before they take action. These kids didn't know they were supposed to wait. They came, they saw, and they solved. They moved on to the next obstacle while many adults are still waiting for a sign from the heavens. It took a long time for these teens to become overnight success stories. It took all six of these teens over 50 years cumulatively to become millionaires. That's an average of 8.33 years from developing their idea to having a seven-figure bank account. They were able to endure the time spent and the rejection they must have suffered because they loved what they were doing. They created their businesses for the joy of making their product. The money was a byproduct. Corey Neves was taught to bake by his mother. Mo Bridges' grandmother taught him how to make his first bow tie. Michaela Omer leveraged her great-grandmother's lemonade. Alina Morris and her father spent several years researching the tasty and tooth-friendly sugar substitute. These teens didn't get to where they are on their own. They had supportive adults to help them. Parents might be surprised what their children are capable of if they're supported. Well, that's my video on how to become a teenage millionaire. I appreciate you watching. Let me know any questions, comments, or topic suggestions you might have on personal finance in the comments below. Be sure to support us on all of our social media platforms. Follow us on YouTube and now on Facebook at Smart Money. Links will be in the description. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to know when I come out with new content. Thanks again for all the support in the comment section. And a special thanks to Mike Johnson, who is our new comment section champion for this week. Make sure you join in the discussion for a chance to have your comment featured. I read and reply to all the comments I get. Make sure you like the video for the algorithm and be sure to share the video with a friend. Check the links in the description for offer information. Lastly, the stock market is set up perfectly to buy stocks at a discount right now. Even if you're just curious and looking to start with 100 bucks or even less, I'd recommend using Robinhood. It's completely free. Plus, if you use my link in the description, you get a free stock just for opening up an account. It's a win-win. Comment below and let me know what you get. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.